Bailey from Peony and Parakeet. Some say there are no mistakes in art. They probably mean that when you make a lot of ugly things and then combine them together, the end result can be beautiful. And I agree, you have to get wild and you have to get creative and you do not want to be afraid of making mistakes. But Sometimes you get to the point where you think that your art is not communicating the things you really want them to say. And that's the time when you have to acknowledge that you made mistakes and you have to start correcting them. In this video blog post I made a lot of mistakes. But I, will also, I did also correct them. And I will show you how. And you will also get to visit this new space I have, this studio base in my house, which is just renovated. It's a bit empty still, but I wanted to show it to you. renovated not quite fully yet but I can show it to you already so here's the video I'm making at the moment and uh, the place where I can photograph all my work my sewing machine searcher carding machine uh, fabrics and Look who's here too, Cosmo. This is my older beagle, Cosmo, who just came into the room. <laughs> my husband's um, bench and fabrics, some art and the blue turquoise wall. I love this color. And the gate for the dogs, if they want to come when I'm filming, I can close the door. <laughs> yeah, Cosmo doesn't like it, yeah.
this point I was not happy with my work. When I turned the paper into the vertical position, I realized that I want to express reflections. I thought about how life's events have their own reflections in our memory, that we always interpret things. We are like trees. A part of us is visible, but there are roots, our heritage and soil, our emotions that reveal themselves only through reflections, through our deeds. Then to reflect what I had done here, so many mistakes, muddy colors, poor composition or details that did not appeal to my eye. The worst thing to try to correct the painting is to start adding tiny brush strokes here and there and spread the color evenly across the work. The better way to go is to create contrasts in sizes of different color areas and examine how the eye moves around the painting. Here's how I corrected the mistakes. I made the tree bigger so that it's a clear focal point of the work. I also added collage pieces that point directly to the tree so that everybody understands that it's the element to return to. I added several bright yellow and pink elements to represent the emotions and their reflections. I made sure that wherever you look at you will either see something appealing or something that leads the eye to the next detail. Sometimes when I start creating, it's only a couple of layers and it's done. Sometimes, like here, it required a lot of thinking and correcting mistake after another. I was asked if I ever give up, toss the work away. I do not usually toss my work away. If I'm not happy with the end result, I will put it in the box of my decorated papers and it will get a new life when I cut it into other artworks. So that way there's no mistakes in art. You can always use it later.